What's up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game of Rebirth DL channel. So what do we have today? Today we have the SZ2 Vita adapter and micro memory SD card. We're going to be setting it up as a UMAO or external storage for the PlayStation Vita on firmware 3.60. As you can see, I have my SD2 Vita adapter, which is pretty cool. I also have my micro SD. Now this is kind of like a cheaper version, but it still works. 64 gigabytes additional storage. So we begin on inserting it to the PC. We are also going to connect our PlayStation Vita via USB with Vita shell. So we begin with CCC blank image, Win32 disk imager, and gamessd.skprx. So we're going to need these three files so that we can go ahead and accomplish this. Of course, the source wololo.net. So I'll leave that information in there so you guys can read the article. It's pretty cool. So the first thing, uh, this is only to set it up as a UMAO. So we're going to move the UXO tie folder to URO tie so that you can use your adapter even if you don't have the Vita card inserted. Also, it may avoid any path issues. And we're going to add the SD2 adapter driver to URO tie config text under kernel. And as well, we're going to drop the plugin in that same folder. So for example, when we write it out, it's going to be on URO tie games skprx so let's go ahead and set up the micro sd card so that we can go ahead and get our external storage or additional storage so we connect the playstation vita via usb and then we're going to go to the tie folder now once you unzip the folder or the file you download from the description you're going to get the games sd skprx and just transfer it over or copy it you guys can see I had it already so I'm just going to overwrite it so with our note plus plus or notepad we're going to open the config text and then under kernel we're going to add URO the two little dots tie game SD dot skprx so we will manually enter that after that, we're going to save the config text. Just remember, it's really important. It should be under kernel. If you guys need to just pause the video. So now we have that ready. That's all we need to do in the tie folder. So now that we have our PlayStation Vita almost ready to go, let's go ahead and get ready our micro SD card. Just wanted to show you guys that I have it under the E drive. You guys can see 59.4. I got cheated on some gigabytes, but it's okay. So we run the tool. You guys can see it reads it, letter E. Then we're going to select the image. Now I put it on my desktop, tccblank.img or image file. So we load it up and then we just select write. So you're gonna get an error and then if you agree to it, just click yes. Okay, so now that it was successful, we're going to remove and reinsert the micro SD card to the PC so that it can enable us to format it. So we'll just give it a moment. You guys can see it says format disk, so we select it. So we leave the file system as EFAT default, and then we change allocation size to default allocation size. Really important. We don't touch anything else and we just click start. We're going to get a warning that it, all the data is going to be formatted. Simple as that guys. Easy. Sometimes it might take longer so just let it be. Uh, one occasion took me four to five minutes. So now we can close that. 
you guys can see it reads it now we can close it as well we don't need that anymore so basically we're done with the PC and setting up our micro SD card so now we move on to the PlayStation Vita right now I'm under UXO tie you guys can see I have my games my game SD dot SKPRX also it's under kernel since I did it with the computer you can also do it with the PlayStation Vita whichever works best so now you can back up your tie folder to your PC I would recommend it I just copied it and backed it up on my download folder you guys can see I already had it in there but I'm just gonna override it just in case okay now that I backed up my tie folder I might need it for future reference I'm going to copy it to URO we're going to paste okay so there we have it you might already have one in there but it's just going to override what you have you guys can see the config text under URO it has the same information under kernel because we just copied it so that's all we need to do now let's get our micro SD card and adapter ready you guys can see I already had my adapter inserted in the PlayStation Vita so I'm just going to insert the micro SD card so there we have it just make sure it clicks wanted to say Strident PSV did a great job with the adapter so now I'm going to restart my system you guys can see that the light will blink it'll show us that it will work there you have it so let's see if it works since I already copied the tie folder to URO it loads up Hankaku or Enso so we have no problems just remember to do that so just follow the steps you guys can see UMAO 59.48 gigabytes which is pretty cool exciting <laughs> so now we forgot to do one thing if we go to UXO you will see that I still have the type folder in there so now that I had already copied it to URO I don't need it anymore so I'm going to delete it just make sure you have copied it to URO and or backed it up because you need that folder to, lo to load up any other stuff so now I'm going to turn off my PlayStation Vita once more so you guys can see since I already copied it to URO that my card is working everything's working fine this shouldn't take no longer than maybe 10 minutes you guys can see the little light blinking which is pretty cool so now let's load up Vita shell again to see if it reads it there you have it UMAO 59.48 gigabytes so now you guys can see that I have type folder in there just make sure you have it in there I have my game SD plugin and I have it under kernel so guys if it helped let me know hope you guys like it remember to share with your friends subscribe as always gamer rebirth out